that white stuff there's ice. It's a bit cold in Saddleworth this morning. Bit of ice over everything. Nice and sparkly. Yeah. Bird bath's frozen over. St Stephen's Church on top of the hill at Saddleworth, South Australia. Now this church was built by an architect from Auburn, Joseph Jones. Oh, she's a pretty big affair. Beautiful stonework on it. And a good view of the township from up here. Originally it was planned to be twice this size. The way it has it, the driveway was that steep. They needed 12 pole bearers per funeral. Six were positioned halfway up the hill to relieve the first six and carry the coffin the rest of the way to the church. The oldest headstone in the cemetery here was July 1869. Mm, so as you can see, the, the track up to this church is quite steep. Don't think you get a wagon up here. Oh, you possibly could. through Brinkworth at the moment. Some old buildings here as well. Kulanga. Theory up ahead. Yatala Harbour out there. This is around about Port Augusta area. We're now heading southwest, heading towards Lincoln Gap. Spinifex Bluff up there. We're heading down towards Iron Knob.
There's the famous water tanks at Lincoln Gap, which is on Lincoln Station. Here we have Pandura Station or Pandura Station Turing Shed. It's the Baxter Hills out yonder. Old man Emu trying to get through the fence. Bit of mining going on just to the east of Iron Knob. Just coming up to Iron Knob. Now, Iron Knob is recognised as the first commercial iron ore mine in Australia. It was first mined by Mount Minden Mining in 1880, but they couldn't keep up production or pay the rent, and it was taken over by BHP in 1896. In 1888, iron smelters were built at Port Perry. BHP started mining in 1899 when their smelters at Port Perry required ironstone as a flux to smelt the silver lead ores from Broken Hill. Now BHP ran iron knob continuously from 1899 to 1998. Between 1900 and 1911, over 600,000 tonnes of iron was shipped from the area to Port Perry. In the early years, iron ore was transported to Port Augusta by bullock teams. It would have been a challenge. In 1998, BHP closed the mine and the population of the town dropped from around 800 to 150 in a few weeks. They then handed the administration of the town back to the local residents. The residents who remained, they bought the local post office, improved the local caravan park campsite and established a visitor centre run by volunteers. Got a tourist centre and a museum here, you want to go in? In 2014, the mine was reopened by Aram Limited, a mining company which used to be part of BHP. This road sweeper was made in Sydney. This looks like hard work, this one. The wheelbarrow. This uh, remaining equipment from the mine. They're here at Iron Knob. We've got a great view out there of the plane. I'd say this was used to keep the bitumen hot, or the tar hot for the roads.
Got a bit of stock around by looks. We're just coming through the South Australian checkpoint and we don't have to stop here. We've got to stop at Watertown. Murat Bay at Sejuna. It's taken roughly nine hours to get from Saddleworth to Sejuna. The only stop we had was in Iron Knob where we checked out the museum. So we've been pretty much on the road all the time. Made camp for the night. Just to the... Well, about halfway between Sejuna and Penong. Just wandering through the bush and... Somebody's had a little billy can here, a long time ago, rushed it out. Few tin cans laying around the place. Just like an old coffee bottle over there. Couple more tins. Looks like somebody must have camped up here for a little while. Oh, I'll change the floor bottle. No, it wasn't a coffee bottle. Not sure what it was actually, the lip was broken off it. Got a little bottle over here. Must have been quite a while ago he was here. That's the old bottle that one. I think I know what it is. Pizzastos, I think. Anyway, amazing what you find. This bottle is actually foldings or foldings eucalyptus oil. See that can's been turned into a billy as well, got a handle on it. I believe there's a railway dam around here somewhere. Let's have a quick look around here, I'll have to get back. Not far away from camp. Let's have a quick look around this tank. There's a bit of a dam this side. Broken pickaxe bottle there. Just a blade off a windmill or something. Even got a paint tin here. Looks like some sheep yards here. Look in this tank. Yeah, the tank was not, well, must have been a railway tank because it would have had a cover on it. Amazing. An old tank, not far off the road here. I wonder what that is. Stuck in there hard anyway, wherever it is. Old water trough. Interesting place. Somebody's left an old record player here. Only a firm moon tonight. Supposed to be full tomorrow, I think. Big gazelle page, and he's off. Oh.